Advanced voting has closed here in Toronto ahead of next Monday's municipal election. More than 124,000 voters cast a ballot over the five-day period. The city is calling that number strong, but it is less than the roughly 160,000 who took advantage of the early polls in the previous election four years ago. Now, Toronto's election is absolutely fascinating, given that incumbent is pitted against incumbent. This is unprecedented. After Doug Ford, Premier Doug Ford, reduced the number of council seats almost by half, and we're seeing a lot of familiar faces here at City Hall who are in neck-and-neck neck races. And one of those races is Doug Ford's own nephew, Michael Ford, who is battling it out for Etobicoke North against a veteran and also a Ford ally, Vincent Crisanti. They were on City News last night in a mini debate. I have experience uh, from the last uh, four years uh, fighting to keep taxes low and, and voting against uh, high property tax increases, voting against uh, high water rates, high garbage rates, and, and I can't say the same to my colleague respectfully, but I've been very focused on that, and that's been my experience, my track record. Um, I've been showing up to people's doors to serve them. When they call my office, they got a personal response, and I'm at their door. I have an impact record of customer service at the door. This is my background, this is what I do. And I can just suggest this, that when, particularly now, when you're reducing the size of council from 47 to 25, the territories have grown quite a bit. Etobicoke North now is more than twice the size of what it was before. Mm -hmm. And it takes that extra skill and experience. So who has the edge before, between Ford and Crisanti? Well, according to Main Street Research, this one's a squeaker. Michael Ford's up by three points. Now, our poll has a margin error of, of four points, mm -hmm. so we deem that too close to call. And we're also looking at uh, how many votes each uh, um, in each ward was cast, uh, in each former ward, and they're about the same. So, which leads me to believe that even though Ford is up right now, Christanti still has a very, very good chance of winning that, and we would not be surprised if Christanti does end up winning on Election Day. It's really too close to call. And also very interesting because, of course, this is Doug Ford's nephew, and Doug Ford has publicly said his nephew he is the one councillor he's supported. Absolutely, but that's interesting because uh, Crisanti has been an ally of Ford as well. So he would be, you know, the Premier would be losing an ally on, on council. I'm sure he'd prefer to have two votes over one. But uh, it's interesting how, you know, we, we earlier, a uh, few weeks ago, we saw Mamaliti in trouble, now Crisanti in a bit of trouble. You know, those are two big Ford allies that would be departing uh, uh, council if, uh, if all plays out as we think. And the polls were conducted October 10th and 11 using 423 automated, automated voice calls. Uh, Main Street says there are seven or eight tight races between incumbents that are too close to call. Election night on October 22nd is going to be fascinating.